This guy represents Carrollton, Georgia. He's from Perry and Injury Law. Make some noise for Kate Perry and everybody. Come on. Kay. Kay. How y'all doing? Lord. Harris Weinstein, Van Zant Law. I've got about every billboard in Atlanta covered sponsoring me. Well, I hail from West Georgia, the great county of Carroll. You head out I 20 West towards the sunset. For you city people, we are the gateway to Alabama. Roll tide. I don't believe that shit. I don't even really sound this way, people. I just want y'all to think I'm an idiot. Hell, I've sounded this way so long, I think I'm an idiot. Y'all are just lucky I can speak English. Well, I tell you what. Being a lawyer was never exactly my dream job. You know? But then I found something. I'm country. But I don't have, like, gun racks on my car. I don't have deer heads all over my house, but I hunt. I hunt for injured people. <laughs> Call Cade, get paid. <laughs> By God, it's fun. But you know, being a personal injury lawyer, some people just don't like us. Those people into fancy stilt-stocking law firms, those pocket hanky wearing douchebags like Scott Masterson. <laughs> they say we degrade the profession. We don't degrade any profession. I mean, look at me. Do I look professional? <laughs> Hell no. Well, like I said, I didn't dream of becoming a lawyer. I honestly have no damn clue how I became a lawyer. But here I stand on stage. It's kind of scary. I know a lot of these guys that have been up here, none of us were exactly law review material. <laughs> uh, but hey, but at least we can talk. <laughs> I've been on a long soul search for what it is I want to do when I grow up. I think back to my first job. I was a dishwasher. I was on a dishwashing line at the Harvard for Hicks with the University of West Georgia. I was the only guy on that dishwashing line without special needs. <laughs> at least that's what my mom told me. <laughs> but then I moved on. I love shaking hands and kissing babies, y'all know that. I'm gonna be a funeral director. I went to work at a funeral home there was one huge hurdle. I was terrified of dead people. <laughs> one day, it was during the holidays. The normal funeral director was out of town. The phone rang. I had to go pick up a dead body. Oh, shit. <laughs> so there I go. I walk into this trailer. I hadn't been in many trailers. But by God, I went in this one, and there was Mr. Abner. Oh, shit. He died in his lazy boy, <laughs> reclined, and he had been dead for a while. Mama and them were scattered about the trailer, just all up in arms. There I was with the stretcher, the body bag, and two gloves on my hand. I had to figure out how I was going to get Mr. Abner into that body bag and onto that stretcher out of that recliner without touching him. <laughs> so being the engineering marvel that I am, having sat in many a lazy boy, <laughs> I decide the first step is going to be to release the latch. Duh. I wasn't going to pick him up. So I bend down, I release that latch. It was like a damn slingshot. 
Mr. Abner comes forward, gets in his best Michael Jackson, Rick and Mortis pose, and falls straight onto that damn body bag. Hallelujah. Praise Jesus and every other God out there. That was my last day working at the funeral home. Thank God there weren't any Yelp reviews back then. This fat little son of a bitch came in there and body slammed my body. Well, I've been a dishwasher. I've worked at a funeral home and now I'm a personal injury lawyer. I just like to clean up other people's messes, I guess. I think I'm gonna be an abortion doctor next. Do you receive it today? <laughs> Thank you, Joel. Thank you, God. Well, one thing I did learn at the, one thing I did learn working at the funeral home, <coughs> life is short, people. You don't have to be around shit you don't like. I'm terrified of clowns. I'm terrified of acrobats. I'm terrified of elephants. Hell, I was the only person in America that was happy the Ringling Brothers went out of business. <laughs> Take that, kids. I'm also scared of sour cream and brie cheese. I know what y'all are thinking. Those are creamy white substances. I have searched through my past. Justice Brett Kavanaugh is nowhere to be found. <laughs> but you... But you also, you also have to be around stuff you like. Men, we're in Midtown Atlanta tonight. Have any of you discovered the loofah? My God. You take that thing off the shower shelf, you start rubbing it on you, there's shit falling off everywhere. And you're, it looks like you hadn't bathed in a year. But let me tell you, the best part, men, I'm just getting hot and bothered thinking about it. That little spot between your balls and your butthole. I mean, it is dingleberries be gone. Whew. You have got to find you a taint brush if you don't have one. Well, Thank y'all for being here tonight. You know, you gotta use your talents in life. Don't waste them. It probably won't surprise y'all that I can fart on command. I've got one to 20 in the chamber at any time. I like to think of myself as the Kim Jong-un of farting. Thank y'all. Kate Perry and everybody, let him hear it.